and welcome to another episode of Full Bar. In today's video, we are going to recap on my favorite Rainbend announcements. Rainbend is like Christmas for me. I had so much fun and I enjoyed so much the keynotes and a lot of the talks and I want to share what were the highlights of the whole event for me. If you're interested in watching more content like this, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. <laughs> So last week was Rainbend, and as I said, for me it's the Christmas time of the year, there's so many announcements and I have such a long wish list for this AWS Santa Claus that I think it was pretty hard. But the top of my list was covered and I was so happy when I saw that announcement. I wanted for Christmas a serverless relational database and they promised that they will launch in 2018, early 2018, Aurora, serverless Aurora, and also MySQL uh, serverless and Postgres serverless. So for me that was like, yeah, finally. So I'm so excited to see that. I don't know anything about it. There was a button to register to the preview when it's available. I already did that, but I know only what is available in the blog post that it will be a uh, relational database, it will be in a serverless manner, you pay per resource per second, you have capacities like you have in Dynamo, and it will be a foolish managed service that will scale up and down according to your traffic. So let's see how it is, but I'm so excited. That was something I've been missing so much because I've been using Dynamo as my serverless database, but it has a lot of limitations. I really want a relational database. Yes! In the notes of this video I will leave a link for all the blog posts that I'm talking about here and all the product pages that I'm talking about here so you can go and check them from Amazon because it's easier than just to put it here that you cannot copy paste it so they will be all in the box for you to click. There were other launches that makes me happy but they were not that big launches in the sense that they were not that like mind-blowing as like serverless Aurora but I think there were really really good serverless improvements to Lambda and API Gateway and Dynamo that are services that I use so much and they were also in my wish list one of them or two of them maybe because they are almost the same was the capability of uh, deploying Lambdas with different versions and sending traffic to those versions in like 10% of the traffic goes here and 90% of the traffic goes here so you can like uh, start releasing your backend in a more progressive way and something similar for API Gateway where you can have different traffic sent to different uh, endpoints so I think that that was something I really wanted to see to do these kind of um, deployments when you're rolling your code in slowly manner or if you want to do A-B testing or you want to see how the new version performs compared to the previous version of your backend. So that was something I was really excited to see. Also, another thing that made me very happy was Dynamo Global Tables. And, and I think now we were able to achieve some kind of cross-region replication using Dynamo Streams. And the global tables are also using Dynamo Streams, but it comes more a little bit out of the box. And I was really happy to see that. And also the backup and restore in the Dynamo, that is something that I was always wondering, hmm, this is something that it's really missing from Dynamo capability. It's a fully managed service. It should have a fully managed backup and restore. So there was another area that I think I will spend as soon as I have time, I will spend months playing with it, will be the services related to language and, and from the machine learning that are the transcribe, the cognitive and the translate. Yes, those three services, AWS transcribe, AWS translate and AWS cognitive cognitive or something like that and leave their boxes in the box everything and basically these three services work I think will work together with Poly and with Lex and Lambda and they are there to translate is to real-time translate transcribe is to move a speech to text 
So who knows, maybe in the future there are bots making the captions for this video. That would be great, so I can translate it into all the languages of the world. Who knows, maybe that's a nice nice project. And then the cognitive three. AWS Comprehend. Comprehend. AWS Comprehend. Learning the new names of services is hard. AWS Comprehend is a natural language processing service. So basically it will understand, like recognition is for images, there is a Comprehend that is for text, so it will understand what is the text about and things like that. So that's very exciting as well. And, and I think those free services are super, super powerful and, and I really want to see, play with them. And, and they really work together with the other services that were launched in Rainband last year, Poly and Lex. You will see some tutorials on that, definitely. Another launch that makes me pretty excited is the AppSync. And that's um, it's from the mobile services. And I imagine, I, I have not tried yet, but it's something I will try. It's some SDK that allows you to have offline syncing between the server and the, basically your AWS backend and your mobile application of your application data. And it provides a GraphQL. That I see that as a strong replacement for, for example, for Firebase real-time database. And I think that was a very strong container when it comes to mobile application development because it's so easy to use for the mobile developer, but then it gets a little bit challenging when you want to grow that backend. So I imagine the app sync will give a lot of power to the mobile developer, but also a lot of capabilities for the backend developer. So that's something I will be exploring next year in the tutorials for you. So let me know if you're interested in hearing more. Then there were so many launches, but so many, but at least these were the ones that caught my attention that I want to try right away. There were a lot of things related to IoT, to video, like the recognition for video, live video, that's mind blowing. And I really liked recognition already. And, and I think adding capability to recognize people on the move and knowing that that's that person and that's that person and they're having these products and doing these things and they're in this place and everything on real time, that's mind blowing. And there were a lot of services for for machine learning and there was this VR AR system that you can build your own that was something I was not expecting from Amazon that you are able to build your own like images and landscapes and, and, and games and, and scenes for VR and AR and I have to try that that's something it's not in my priority list because it's something I don't have any experience and it was very interesting to see that coming from AWS because it's something I, I was not expecting. Also AWS launched Cloud9, that is a um, text editor on the cloud to do a lot of serverless stuff. Sounds interesting, but I don't know. Maybe I give it a try and I show you a video, but it's not also in my priority list. There's so many other things I want to try before. And if you want to see the whole list of the launches made in Rainband, I leave you a link below for the official page, for the AWS page where all the Rainband launches were announced. I also leave you a link to a blog post made by the serverless framework people where they have curated this list somehow and, and it has some a little bit more like what it is and, and it has a summary and has a link to all of this because I think that's kind of um, more approachable if you want to just have a seat and, and read what is all these updated then, then go to the AWS page and every link will take you to a blog post that is huge but, but I think both pages complement on each other quite good. So this was the video for today and to leave you with one open question that is what you want to hear next year? Now is the time of the year, it's the end of the year and, and after reInvent there is so many services that has been announced and I've been collecting all your requests and I've been trying to make videos out of it and I have a backlog full of requests but but I would be interested to know what are your favorite launches what you will be interested in knowing more what you would like to see in a demo what you would like to get your hands into so please leave in the comments everything you want to say to me so I can start pre thinking about the backlog of videos for 2018 what are the series that I will be working on and, and things like that. And I also want to say one more thing. 
On the 29th of last month, on the Thursday of reInvent, my first course has gone live. I have been working with Manning and we launched a serverless course, an AWS uh, serverless course. So there is um, a link in the box where you can go and get the course. I will share more information about the course with you later during next year when the course is completed. Now it's in this early access. So the price is quite good. So if you want to get your hands into serverless from the beginning, you should go and check it out. And around here, there are other videos from my channel to you for you to watch. So I see you in the next episode of FUBAR. Ciao!